this pond near our house is looking very sorry for it, sorry for itself um, and I have noticed a lot of tiny minnows are sort of at top as though they're running out of oxygen which is a little bit of a worry um, we've got a breeding pair of uh, kingfishers on it you often see them set in that tree um, which is uh, brilliant and uh, quite chirpy little things and all and they've got quite tame they'll let you sit on decking and watch them and watch them fish so I don't know hopefully soon we'll get some rain to fill it up and give it some uh, fresh water water to uh, re-oxygenate uh, oxy it is that what you say? so yeah yeah, quite worrying we've got 8mm of rain here, but it's not enough, but saying that though, somewhere uh, uh, south links, I think got 68mm in uh, in two hours, which Christ flooded them out like, so we've gained a bit of stuff lately, a couple of dealer lads have rung me up and uh, sold us a bit of stuff, there's a nice little drill combination if uh, anybody's looking for one, a real genuine thing. Um, Coon 3 metre power, same again, very genuine. Uh, 4 metre lily power, very tight, could do with a set of tines that one. In fact, I'm talking with keeping that one. Because um, it's that tight underneath. That, and they are big money, so if you're interested, give us a shout. Right, we'll go see pigs. Pigs are, uh, hopefully, a load of pigs going next week. And then probably the week after that, they'll get cleared. And uh, and if weather lets us, if it weather's changed and come wet we'll get that muck we'll get that muck all uh, distributed into various spots and get it spread this back end um, unless it comes wet because it will come wet yeah 75 big ones went last week and i think two load next week and, uh, and we'll have a, a clear out the week after so the well's keeping up, only just though, there's only enough water, because the water table, unbelievably, see the well's going into that now. Filling that IBC, that little pressure is getting the That little pressure left vessel is shuff, shuffling, it, shuff, shuffling in it round the farm. But somehow we've gained a leak to sort that out later on. There's always a job here. Been a good batch of pigs, actually. You know, that caused us uh, a lot of problems. A couple of poorly ones in here. He's got a bad leg. That one's prolapsed, but it's money. We've managed to get back in, and I think she'll be all right. Been a real happy bunch. Not aggressive at all. You know, they aren't rowy, usually they're kind of, at this stage, they're riding each other. Gilts are brimming and they're just making, you know, making a right din, but yeah, they're quite content. We just keep ticking a few jobs off on shed and all, because hopefully in three weeks time we'll get a new batch of pigs. They're coming in here and all, I put that up yesterday, the IBC. That will pipe from uh, the pressure vessel down this wall. And then we'll pipe to two uh, nipple, two banks of nipple drinkers in this shed. One on this wall, and one on that wall. Um, uh, so they're on order. Oh, there's a gate to hang here. I want to get that on next week. Uh, price metal for twelve gates. Price is extortionate. Anyway, stuff steering today. Just thought lads go out with tractors. I just want them to mix some cement. And what we do, we uh, we have these barrels, we we'll slit them and have uh, bo three bolts what join and then we pour that, pour concrete in there. Um, so it just protects the ports because I mean pig, pig muck and steel, oh it'd rot them in five years. I think five years it'd rot them uh, away so what we do, we uh, we put concrete around them to pull on the line and we also have half barrels as well. And we do these as well. Hey, just prevention, innit? Prevention, 
Listen, no, no, yeah, five years, I reckon. Five years, they'd be wrong. So, prevention is better than the cure. We've gathered all oh, the straw all over on this farm. We've got more straw than we know what to deal with. Um, that's an heap of trap. Most of it's under cover and under sheets outside. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll use that first because it'll get very puddly out here. That's, uh, that's there for uh, everything we've put inside is saleable though. You know, good heavy build, good quality straw and we'll sell it because we've got enough for us to use in big eats outside. So. But I think there's a glut of straw, but whether there'll be a glut of straw in harvest, I don't know. Because things can change. You know, a rough winter, a lot of people are using a lot of stuff now, so a lot of barley straw might end up being fed. Well, they're a right batch of pigs there. This little chalk stream, uh, this little chalk stream, what comes through middle at farm, it's in terrible, uh, well, not terrible state because it's quite a haven for uh, uh, for wildlife, but I've never seen it as um, reeded up like this. Whether it's uh, whether it's a dry time, let it grow, or it's it's thrived in a dry time, or whether it's ex um, extra nitrogen levels in water, which yeah. Farmers are to blame a little, uh, well, farmers are to blame, aren't they? But um, the country needs to uh, feed, doesn't it? So I don't know, there is certain practices where we can sort of trap it up with cover crops and one thing or another. And, uh, but uh, yeah, I've never seen it like that, which we'll have to dig it out, I think, this time. I think this uh, get through drilling and we'll bring the 360 digger down and we'll just sort of skim it out you know just tidy it up straighten it up in places and one thing or another um because yeah it's a little bit in terrible state just come to see the girls starting to look very cowy we're uh we've stopped feeding them here we've given them a bit of because there ain't much grass now look they are picking up grass but there ain't a lot of grass left for them now so they're uh, my dad's uh, we're pouring barley straw and molasses, pouring molasses on and letting it soak into, and they're loving it. And they're doing really well, aren't they? Oh, they're in real good condition. But they're starting to look a bit cowy. If you look at that one, it's starting to look like it's carrying a calf. So you've done your job, haven't you, Warney lad? Hey, done your job, haven't you, kid? I think this is the one what he's been a bit active with, so I think she'll end up in the uh, in the fat yard. I'm afraid she's not taken; she'll be barren, you know. This field here has had the full treatment. We fill that dike in over there. We put a tire drain in. We um, filled a great wet hole in uh, there with some sand we had in the yard from a shed base. And we're sorting this out, we dug this little dike out, uh, really tidied it up last year and uh, left the spoils on top uh, and just dragging it back and we're going to level it out, probably run uh, solo over it, not with legs in, just to chop it up and then power it a couple of times so we have a nice track. Because this little dike here, um, when we dug it out last year we found about half a dozen little pot drains what don't run a lot of water but they run a bit of water so every, every little help stood it at a wet time so and if you're wondering why I'm dressed up like a tart I've, uh, we've got Clasco coming so me and Bill have to do I don't know what we have to do really we have a bit of acting like and uh, yeah we have to do a well I presume they just ask me from an owner's point of view what I think and him, and a, him as a driver's point of view what he thinks and uh, and yeah talk about the combine um, and we're gonna gonna be on I don't know what we're gonna be on actually some promotional videos or uh, and uh, their YouTube uh, footage things so so yeah not looking forward to it a bit nervous really so but uh, oh they might we might we might make such a cock up of it that uh, they won't use it at all we'll see so anyway that's why I'm quite smartly dressed because last time he came real oh grandfather 
really top bloke. He said uh, I was absolutely like I usually am, covered in blather and grease and oil and I just looked like a tramp. And uh, basically he told me to smarten myself up for a photo shoot, which made me chuckle, it really did. So. Yeah, this bucket here, you might look at it and think it's, uh, you know, now in the summer, but it's a 360 bucket. It must have been off of like a, a 30 ton machine. And uh, I never put the brackets on. Someone's put one or two brackets on. And uh, it's hell of a bucket for these type of jobs. I mean, you won't want to come here with your calm bucket, would you? Uh, but I mean, big buckets are just too, too rough on the machine for a start. And, uh, and it's just very very handy little bucket so yeah if you ever get a chance of a big grading bucket of a 360 for your teleport I'll get one because by it's an handy thing so right our class men are here so Phil's gone to get his best shirt on what if it comes out in like bow tie and stuff takes it to the extreme we've got the film guys here uh, Phil's doing his term, I've had, I've had my bit, actually it didn't go so bad with what it comes out like on the, the film, I don't know, but Phil's having his uh, interrogation now. Talking with his hands, isn't he? I ain't doing so bad, I was a bit tongue-tied. Tell you, it's pressure's on. Good set of lads who've come. Nick and Steve. Investments paid off, and then yeah, hundred percent after it. Perfect. We don't want new old next year. Just heading out bailing for the last time. We've got some old straw to clear up at uh, Latham, and uh, there is odd field of uh, corn left round here. A field of spring wheat there. Um, just feel the past the field of beans. So yeah, a little bit to cut round here, but not a lot. But, this morning I've just, well I went last night, I just went to pick Nikki up, uh, went, went pick up to pick her caravan up. She's been away for a few days with uh, grandkids. And uh, there's a lot on the east coast to still cut. They're different climate, they get them short days where the sea air comes in very early and their days are short like. But there's some nice looking crops to be fair. So, but yeah, still a fair bit to cut that way on. Uh, yeah, another box tick, last load of straw. Last field of straw bale. Dad's been for a load and uh, yeah, we've got some horrible looking bales now. To get someone out, someone out to this bale because I don't know, we can't fathom it. We've tried everything, bloody break and oh, all sorts of stuff on that now. So it makes a good bale and it romps on, but actually for a net wrap up, it's, uh, it's horrible. You know, they just look so untidy in the uh, in the field. That don't make it a shit of difference, really, to uh, to the straw. But it just looks so untidy because it don't really don't send uh, net wrap to the side. So anyway, that's what it is. End up like that. Well, I think the worst than the worst. And I think our olive is going too tight. The uh, net wrap brain. Until next year, we, we aren't giving up on it. Right, onward bound, Sunday tea time. Let's go get and see if we uh, might get barbecue going actually. Nicky you don't want to go out. Right, if you like these videos, like and subscribe, will ya? And uh, don't be offended if you message, I read them all and I appreciate them all, but don't be offended if, uh, if I don't reply back to them. It's just time, and to be fair, my spelling is something beyond rubbish. Even spell checker can't help me. So, 